Next up, we have uh, Dimitri Efremo from American Express. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, my name is Dmitry Efimov. I'm from American Express. Uh, hopefully, everybody know what is American Express, right? And probably I will say something new during these five minutes. Uh, in fact, I'm leading machine learning R&D team in American Express, and uh, we are doing very interesting thing. Uh, there are some statistics about American Express, which is not interesting uh, now, maybe. But what's more interesting? I think the most unique thing is American Express is our data. And I can, I, I, I don't tell that just because I work at American Express. Uh, before I joined American Express, actually I spent quite a lot of time on Kaggle, participating in different competitions, so I saw a huge amount of different data. And I can tell you the data we have inside American Express are very unique. The main reason that we have whole cycle from like merchants to customers, we have transactional data, and with this data, actually, we can do amazing things. And we can like, predict fraud. We can build very interesting models. And uh, um, we can use it in completely different ways. So actually, during this talk, I don't want to, to do this to tell about these marketing things. I just want to tell about some more practical uh, stuff that we are doing. And actually, the first example, like example of research project that we, we are doing inside American Express, this one example. Let's say we have like sequence of transactions, right? And um, of course, these data are not real, but like uh, you, can, you can see that actually we, we have like terabytes of such kind of data. So we have sequence of transactions. And one question we have, let's say we have, uh, I don't know, 1,000 transactions for the customer. And we know that in some time, customer defaulted. So he or she didn't pay. Question, can we predict default for existed customers using, for example, finding similarity between transactions? And that's not, that's not straightforward because we have huge amount of uh, categorical features. So we can see, for example, merchant name, right? And we have many, many additional uh, things. So this is very challenging problem. And uh, we approach this problem from different point of view. We use, for example, decision tree based method. We use unsupervised techniques. We're using uh, deep learning. We're trying to approach this problem, for example, using NLP, using transformers, and so on and so on. So there are a lot of, a lot of open problems uh, that we're trying to solve. Uh, another example is that actually, even our data, we have like huge data, as I told you, but our data are not perfect. And there are some segments that are underpopulated. And question, can we generate more data in order to improve our models? And again, this, this problem is very challenging because, for example, you know, many of you know what is GAN, right? And you know that the main, uh, the main idea of why GAN was created is to people try to generate more pictures. And that's why, you know, they work perfect for pictures, but if you try to generate data, uh, generate structured data, like we have transactional data with many categorical features, it's not so straightforward. So that's why, for example, recently we built uh, some, some new architecture that helps us to generate more data, more transactional data, but still we have a lot of open problems. Uh, for example, how we can generate the sequential data, sequence of transactions. Actually, GAN in this, in this example doesn't work. And um, the last uh, example that, uh, that I want to tell is that actually now all our models, for example, we predict fraud, we predict default, we predict uh, credit limit. Uh, all our models are pretty static in terms of that. We do not use these dynamic models with, uh, like, which, have be, which are trained on the sequence of transactions. And recently, we tried this model. For example, in this, in this use case, we tried to predict fraud using like sequence of transactions. And we, for that, we used temporal convolutional network, and it showed perfect result. So this is a new, new direction that we just started. We also want to test RNN and so on and so on, these this sequential techniques. As I mentioned, transformers. Uh, we also work on graph, uh, graph convolutional neural networks. At least we started looking at that uh, techniques. Uh, so, w what is what is the main what is the main goal of this talk? I want to 
uh, invite in case if you if you uh, want to test yourself if you want to work in financial area we are hiring we have a table next to next to this room so please bring your CV and uh, we have a lot of offices at our main office in New York uh, we have also office in Phoenix so please come talk and I hope uh, we'll we'll get in touch in the future thank you Next up is Michael.